Hi, this is Christina. I haven't done a video for a while. Um, this time I'm not going to do a food video. I'm going to do a body lotion video. I make my own uh, body lotion and other things as much as I can. Um, there's some things like I'm not going to do natural deodorant. Sorry. <laughs> um, but when I can substitute healthy homemade um, lotion and potions. I, I do try to do that. And this lotion is really simple and very luxurious. My, um, my daughter loves it, uh, as well. Now, this might be something to, that you have to get used to because it is made with coconut oil. Um, and that's a little heavier on the skin than a store-bought, um, lotion but it's so good especially in the winter time or for mature skin um, it just feels good so let me show you what oils i use and how i do it okay so i am going to fill a jar about this big that's what this um is going the oils that i'm putting in will have this much volume so I use mango butter, and I just bought this one on Amazon, um, and I'm going to use about two tablespoons, no sorry, four tablespoons of mango butter. Mango butter, I never would have thought of mango butter, but that stabilizes it a little bit like that these wax will. So four tablespoons of that. Four, oh, sorry, shea butter. It It's thick. You don't want it already made. You want just the shea butter and unscented. So we're gonna put four tablespoons of shea butter in and oh this feels good too <laughs> um and i think shea butter smells good even when it's unscented we will put some essential oil in after we get done melting the, the butters because we don't want to heat the essential oil so they they lose their properties. Um, I can't, my hands are too slippery. Okay, now we have just regular old coconut oil. And this, uh, I'm going to use six tablespoons. That is that, not too hard. And then I'm gonna create a double boiler. And if you have a double boiler, you can use that. I use a pot, because my other double boiler is huge, so I don't wanna use it. But I put a, a little bit of water in the bottom of this pan, and then I put this bowl over the top of it so it doesn't reach the bottom. So I'm going to I'm going to get this melted and then we will finish. Okay, so this has now um, been heated and cooled just a little bit and I'm now going to add uh, four tablespoons of olive oil. If you want it more solid, add less olive oil. 
In fact, I might do like three and a half this time. Oh, maybe I have to refill. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go find some olive oil and I'm gonna put the olive oil in and then I am going to, to um, choose 24 drops, maybe if you want it stronger, maybe up to 30 drops of your choice of essential oils. Um, I like to use for myself, for my body lotion, bergamot, lime, and sometimes clary sage. Um, or you could just choose one, like you, if you like lavender, you could just use all lavender. You don't have to mix the oils. Um, I think that sometimes, uh, like I'll change mine around um, according to what I like to smell, but also if I'm going through something, maybe if I'm sad or stressed, I might uh, change the oils that I put in my lotion because that's then on my body and can go inside my body. Um, and I would love to um, talk with you more about different blends uh, if you're interested in that and what type of oils are good for different uh, situations in your life. I use doTERRA oil because of the, the quality of the oil um, and the reputation of the company. Um, I, I have recently decided to become a doTERRA wellness advocate, so I can sell the oils as well, but as I learn about the oils, I'm just more excited and would be really excited to share that information with you. Um, okay, so I am going to get a, a tablespoon and a half more of the olive oil. And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator um, for about an hour, hour and a half, until it is starting to become solid. It, it, it looks creamy. Um, and then we're going to mix it so it becomes a really smooth and fluffy lotion. I will, I will get back with us together as soon as my oil cools. Okay, so he, sorry. here's how it should look when you pull it out of the refrigerator. I lied. I think it takes about two hours after what I showed you. Um, so actually, let me say this. I would let it cool for about 30 minutes before you put the essential oils in and the, then put it in the refrigerator for probably an hour and a half to two hours. I wasn't thinking, sorry. So now I'm going to beat this up with the beater and I will show you what it should look like uh, before you put it in the jar. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. Okay, so now this is how fluffy it looks like. And now I'll put it in a jar. Um, this is an amazing um, lotion. <laughs> I feel like a queen when I use it. So give it a try. Choose your oils and enjoy. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this and of course I'm going to do more food, but I would like to do more of these too. So if you enjoyed this, let me know. I do all kinds of things. I do, uh, lip balm, lotions, bath salt, poo poo, toilet <laughs> diffusers. Um, I do um, natural 
uh, laundry softeners. So if any of those are interesting to you, please let me know and I would be happy to help. Again, if you want, um, I love essential oils. So if I can help you with essential oils, please let me know.